Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the send and hardware output defaults in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a kick, a snare, a track I created for a drum bus, and a few effects returns. So to get to the send and hardware output defaults, we'll go up here to the options menu and choose preferences. Then we'll go into project to track send defaults. And then right down over here deals with our sends and track hardware outputs. By default, any send we create is going to start at zero dB. So if you want to send our kick and snare to the drum bus, we'll go to the routing, create a send right here to drum bus, and it starts out at zero dB. It's not cutting or boosting. So if we take it out of the master parent send, the kick is going exclusively to the drum bus. Let's do the same thing with the snaps. If we send it to the drum bus, take it out of the master parent send, it's going to send at 0 dB. So if we play our drums, we're hearing them through the drum bus. We could still adjust their volume with their faders. So that's very useful for creating buses where they already start out at 0 dB, which is typically where you want the level to be. But let's say we're creating a send to go to our effects returns down here. Let's add some reverb right here. And again, it starts at 0 dB, but watch what happens. That's way too much reverb. So typically, you want to start with the send all the way down and bring it up to taste. Let's do the same thing for delay. Add a send to delay. Again, it starts out at 0 dB, which again is too loud. We want to start a bit lower and bring it up to taste. So for using our sends as effect sends, we might want to change the defaults. So let's delete these two. Let's go back to the preferences. Let's change this to something lower or bring it all the way down. Negative infinity or INF. And now if we create those same sends for the reverb, it starts out all the way down, which I find to be more useful for using us sends as effect sends. For delay, the same thing. It starts out all the way down. So for this situation, I prefer to change the default to minus infinity or all the way off. But the default is zero. And we could also adjust the hardware output default gain right here. Again, it starts at zero dB. So for creating a headphone mix or sending anything out of hardware output, like three and four or any other output you want, it's going to start out at 0 dB, all the way up. And if you want that, it's perfect. But if you wanted to create a separate headphone mix and start over from the bottom, you might want to change this right here to a lower value or all the way down. And now, if we create a hardware output, it starts out all the way down. So we can bring it up to taste. 
But again, the default is zero dB. Then down over here, we can change the default mode for our sends. Starts out at post fader. So we created this drum bus. It started out as a post fader send. So we move these faders, it still affects the drum bus volume like this. But if we wanted to create a completely separate drum bus mix, we could change it after the fact right here to be pre fader, or we could change it by default. Go back to our preferences and change the default for our sends to be pre fader or post effects. So now, if we create sends from our drums to our drum bus, they're going to be pre fader. Right here, pre fader post effects. So now the track level is completely separate from the send level. If we bring it down, we don't hear the kick. And if we bring it up, we do. We'll say the same thing for the snaps. Create a send to the drum bus, and it sends pre fader post effects. And again, these volumes are completely separate from the track volumes. So if we adjust these, it doesn't affect what we hear on our drum bus. It's a completely separate mix. But if there's effects on the tracks, I have an EQ right here on each of them, that EQ will go on to the drum bus, unless we change it over here to be pre effects, which is still pre fader as well. And again, we can change it after the fact or change it as a preference to pre effects. And now with effects on the track, if we create a send to a drum bus, it's going to start out as pre effects. So our fader and the effects are being sent completely separately to the drum bus. But again, the default is post fader. And typically, when we're using pre fader sends to create separate mixes or pre effects, we would change this default to be negative infinity or all the way down. This way, when we create the send to the drum bus, it starts off all the way down and pre fader. So we can create a separate mix to the drum bus that's not affected by the track faders. But again, it starts out at 0 dB, with the mode being post fader. Then down over here, we can decide what type of data is being sent with our sends. By default, it's both, so we're sending MIDI and audio at the same time. If we just wanted to send MIDI, maybe we're recording MIDI information on one track and sending it to another with a virtual instrument plugin on it. We might want to turn off the audio and just send the MIDI. So now, if we create a send from one track to another, let's just send it to the drum bus. It only sends MIDI right down here, but it doesn't send the audio. Again, we can change it on a send by send basis right here, sending to channel one and two on the destination track, but we could change that in the preferences to send audio by default or send MIDI by default or both. So if we just want to send audio, just choose this. And now if we create a send, it's only going to send audio, not MIDI. Of course, we could still add it if we need it. 
But by default, it's not going to send MIDI unless we choose it here. But by default, it sends both. Now, typically in Reaper, we tend to leave our preferences alone, how we prefer to work. But this is the one area in Reaper I tend to change quite often. If I'm creating post fader buses, I'll leave it as the default, sending 0 dB and post fader. But if I'm using it for effects, I'll change this to minus infinity or starting all the way down. Or if I'm creating a completely separate mix, I'll change it right here to pre fader and then keep the gain all the way down, making it a lot easier to create separate mixes on the fader and the sends. But again, the default is 0 dB and post fader. So that's pretty much it. That's the send and hardware output defaults in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!